My name is Lisa Equideo, and I serve in student ministries at GT. I've been a small group leader for four years now. So I started with these girls in grade nine, and I was with them in grade 10 and 11, and now they're in grade 12, and they're graduating. So I'm able to see their growth, as well as my growth throughout being in youth. In high school, you're trying to figure out who you are. You're coming across all sorts of different obstacles. You're figuring out who are my friends? Do I want to have these friends pressured to do this or that? Figuring out what do I want to do with the rest of my life? And how do you do this whole life thing? So being able to be with them and help them come alongside of that, it's really cool, really important. Going through high school, I had a really rough time. I had great friends at church, but at school, I really felt really lonely. I would eat lunch by myself and I would wander the hallways. I had a really, really low point in my life and I absolutely hated it until I found some friends at high school and I started serving at youth and I became stronger with my friends at youth and at school and sticking that through now to be able to come and serve the kids here at youth that's really my heart. I saw a girl once a few weeks ago and she came in and she sat down on the couches by herself. And I thought, I'm gonna go talk to her. So I went over and I talked to her and she said, oh, I didn't think anybody would notice me. And that's my whole point. I want to come and be that person that notices you and makes you feel welcome. I can love them the way that Jesus loves them because God loves them unconditionally and I will love them unconditionally too. When I started serving, it was real as a student leader in high school. Like I just, I came in and I set up the chairs. And at the end of the night, I took the chairs down and that was just it every day. And I still kept coming because if I don't come, then the chairs don't get set up and then you don't have youth anymore. We're just sitting on the floor. <laughs> so <laughs> that's my job. And then after that, I started getting more responsibilities. I get to put out the lights now. I'll play piano in worship. And now I've trained people to play piano. And as I've grown in my leadership, I've grown in my faith. I find myself sometimes at school or in life when I have a situation that I'm doing and I'm about to do something and I think, no, wait, I have to set a good example for my small group girls. So I will, I'll do it anyway, or I won't do this anyway. If I'm always having that mindset, then I am able to strengthen my faith too. Like, this is what God wants me to do. And it becomes an easier decision as I go along to, am I doing the right thing? Am I not doing the right thing? If Lisa can do it, then I can do it too. And if Lisa had a bad day and can still praise God, then I can have a bad day and praise God too.